And of course, it's Marathon Monday. The eyes of the running world turning to New England this morning for the 128th Boston Marathon. And 22 News is in the thick of it this morning. 22 News reporter Doug McLean is live in Hopkinton with a preview for us. Rich Taylor, we're live from nearby the starting line here in Hopkinton. The buzz for the 128th marathon already begun as it has before sunrise for well over 100 years. The theme of this year's marathon is making history, and we're doing that right off the bat. This is the 100th year since they moved to the starting line here to Hopkinton. So it's a jubilant atmosphere here in town already, again, well before sunrise. Over the years since they moved to the starting line, more than 812,000 competitors have begun their iconic. 26.2 mile journey here since the starting line was moved from Ashland in order to align with the official Olympic marathon distance in 1924. Today, 29,451 runners will start here representing 129 countries and all 50 United States. Most of those runners, including a bus full from the Greater Springfield Harriers, will go in waves between 10 and 11:15 this morning. We're getting close though to the very first boots on the line. The military marchers will start off their journey at 6 this this morning, just a few minutes before sunrise. The racing begins with the wheelchair and hand cycle divisions just after 9 with Troy Hoyt, grandson and nephew of the late Dick and Rick Hoyt, serving as the official starter for those races, marking the 10-year anniversary of their final marathon together. The professional divisions hit the course at 937, followed by the para-athletics division. That professional field already also ready to make history today. It's a very quick group. We haven't seen a course record here in Boston since 2014, and with good weather forecast, today both the men's and women's open division records just might be within reach for that professional field. I'll dig into who we can expect to come across the finish line first in the next half hour. Working for you live in Hopkinton, Duncan McLean, 22 News.